So um, in uh, the screw tape letters, I think, uh, Lewis says, the safest road to hell is the grad... Actually, he has um, uh, screw tape or wormwood, screw tape. Uh, say, the demons say, the safest road to hell is the gradual one. The gentle slope, soft underfoot, without sudden turnings, without milestones, without signposts. Matthew 7, 13 to 14 says something that is... Uh, is very difficult. Enter through the narrow gate. This is Jesus speaking. For wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Wow. Wow. Well, if this were the only verse of Scripture that we had, I think we would be forced to conclude that there's just a very, 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 very small number of people who will enjoy heaven, and the vast, vast majority of people who ever lived would go to hell. Now, it's not the only verse we have, but I think it's a verse we must take seriously whenever we start talking about, well, let's say half the people who have ever lived will be in heaven. Whoa, really? Uh, well, let's say and start adding numbers. And then those who say, in fact, and this is universalism, everyone who has ever lived will go to heaven. Origen postulated that in the end, Satan himself will repent and go to heaven for eternity. Yeah, but, you know, he was a church father, but that violates scripture. Um, you know, it's, it's just not. It's not true. But I also think we need to be careful to not narrow it further than Jesus meant. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. In Acts 4.12, the the apostles are teaching, neither is there salvation in any other name under heaven. There's no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. It's Jesus. Jesus. 